welcome back for some more Jujutsu Kaisen. So today we are at episode 16, which honestly I can't wait for this week episodes uh, and there will be three because uh, as the last episode ended, if I remember correctly, we were in the competition. And the thing I was the most excited about it was the fact that weirdly the one that I was not hating the most, but you know how I didn't really like uh, to do to begin with? Uh, I find it so interesting to see that he kind of became best friend with Yuji. And I just think it's awesome how he just wants to, I don't want to say train him, but kind of. And he just want to make him stronger, like um, probably stronger than he already is. I mean, to do is like pretty flippin' strong and almost everyone is like scared of him. But I think that Yuji has potential to reach either the same level of strength or maybe even above. So I don't know. I don't know. But you guys know how Yuji to begin with. He's so strong. I remember like the first episode, how flipping athletic he wore and he had some weird, amazing strength. So I think he has potential to become like maybe stronger than uh, Tudu. Maybe I'm dreaming, probably, but you know what? I have faith and this is theories. Uh, obviously, like usual, I won't do any theories for today's episode since it's been so long that I haven't watched the last episodes and I just don't remember correctly how it ended. If I have to do a general theory, it would be that obviously I think probably that Yuji will be able to reach a level of strength that he wasn't able to before and there will be confrontations between, you know, all the, all the people that are participating into that tournament, like the older students will obviously fight with the younger one and I've got the feeling that probably the younger ones will be the one to win I really hope so I think they have a lot of potential every one of them so I think it will be surprising I think we will be surprised about everything that will be happening in today's episode or the next one I don't know we will see <laughs> so yeah but before we get started I just wanted to say a huge Thank you to my Patreons, thank you guys so much for your trust and your support over this platform. I will put the link of my Patreon in my description box if you want to follow me over there. And if you do want to join, I am currently watching Avatar The Last Airbender, we are at book 2. I am watching Dragon Ball and Fire Force Season 1 for the Super Sibling and above tier. So yeah, if you want to join, the link is in my description box like I just said. And I just want to say a special thank you to my king, queen, and god tier who are writing in my description box. Thank you guys so much! And you know what guys, without a further ado, let's just get started! It's crazy how this intro just made me feel like to do a lot. I don't know why, but I just thought about him, about saying just that quick intro. Yo, that fight between those two, and it's, I just think it's amazing how they fight for real. And Tudu is just flipping, enjoying it so much. Because he want to train him. He want his best friend to be flipping awesome. <laughs> it is so insane how... He's so happy he won't let you. Oh yeah, I was like, yo, Tudu is flipping strong. <laughs> he stopped the punch with his flipping forehead. You have to be kidding me. Oh, what will you do, best friend? He won't. To be stronger, to beat those kinds of people. Uh, I can't... Honestly, I would have never guessed that Tudu would be the one to flipping teach him. He seems so much like the kind of people to just punch, 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 kill, kill, kill. And not the kind of person to just teach. So it is awesome. 
my stomach is full of rib. Oh, so there it is. So he needs a place to channel like everything. Right now, I just can't stop thinking about how everyone must be fighting for their life and he's just there <laughs> learning how to become stronger. It's amazing. Oh, so that's why it's hard for probably uh, people to read uh, Gojo's energy and everything. He's just so advanced. It's just Hopi, so yeah. Oh, hell yeah! That's the thing I love the most about those two, it's how I'll guide you with my full strength. It's... Don't die on me, oh man, I'm, <laughs> I'm almost scared. It's how flipping serious they are with each other in terms of like strength. I just think it's incredible, like they, they are not holding back but they are still able to catch up with each other. So that's why to do is so fond of Yuji, I think. You know what? I was about to say if this episode would be about um, Yuji and <laughs> a to do. But no, I think we will see other people fight. And obviously with the title, we will see two sisters fight. Which I think will be interesting. <laughs> oh! No! Panda! Oh, is he okay? Oh my god. At least it's like on the shoulder, yeah. Oh, I wouldn't underestimate him though. She wants to take care of her. <laughs> yeah, of course. Yeah, right. You better beat her, girl. What? What? <laughs> just kidding. You just... Oh, wow. I love Panda. <laughs> Panda Senpai. Well, it's not a human, so that's why it probably didn't work. Oh. Damn, puppet. What? What? Who's that? Is that? Is that him? Whoa, what's up? So even so, that thing is kind of a robot. He's got some body parts wh which are humans. Is that it? From what I just saw, he seems quite human. Uh, eh. <laughs> Oopsie, it's stronger than he thought. Yo, still, he stopped that attack. Yo, Panda Senpai seems way more stronger than we think. <gasps> oh, no way! Panda is the ultimate master. Oh my god. But that thing is so cute! Yo, Panda Senpai is the cutest. Let's go! Is not a panda? Oh god. Honestly, I think panda ooh, is way more powerful than uh, we think. Yo, he's fast! I know he must. He mustn't really be, uh, obviously, a real panda since he can talk and fight like that. Oh! <laughs> He's a cursed puppet. What the heck? Huh. Oh! So that's the body that we saw. So that's the thing that... that that's the... Uh, <laughs> that's the body that we saw. <laughs> In a... Uh, his um, vision. 
So his body is somewhere else. But I wonder where it is, though. In a house? In a tree? I don't know. I've got some Naruto's vibe right now. With pain. Oh, yeah. Over vast distance. So he can be really far away. Yo, still, he is strong. And I just think it's sad. Um, you know, his situation and everything. Like, he can go outside. It's sad. But uh, yeah, that's a pretty awesome, uh, you know, technique. Oh no! Oh no, 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 don't block this. Oh my flipping God, what the? No, don't be injured, don't die, don't. Oh God. Oh no, Panda. Oh no, 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 no. No, 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 it's not that. I'm pretty sure he's hiding some powers. He has to. Holy moly, Jesus, that's not a panda anymore. Holy <laughs> What the heck? Panda is not a panda. Oh, hell no. Oh my god, Panda is looking for us! It's crazy! I want a Panda like that! What? He... what? He's got an older brother and sister, so that is the... Holy! So that's the power he's using right now? Holy moly, that does... Ooh! <laughs> doesn't do any shit! Has a single core. Don't tell me he has like. Yeah, don't tell me there's flipping three. Oh my god. Gorilla core. Oh, that's why. So, gorilla. Gorilla mode! Oh wow, but I'm not gonna lie. I am really interested to see his sister corp. Corp, yeah. I was like corpse. No, 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 no. Corp. Oh my god. Oh my god, Panda! Hell yes! It's crazy to see how he can keep up with an older student like that, who is supposed to be like a higher rank and everything. Even if you lose, I mean Panda, yo, <laughs> I think he became one of my fave. Panda, he has three cores, I still can't believe it. Oh my god, it is... Ah! He has the advantage, advantage in close range. So let's go, Panda. Don't let him escape. He needs one hit. One hit on the head and Mecha is down four. At this point, it is just crazy. Ah! Ow. The attack of Mecha doesn't seem to do anything on him. I don't like the way he touched the panda. Oh, okay, okay. Doesn't do anything. Did he do something? Mm, pretty sure he's got a plan right now. Why is he running like that? Will he go somewhere for backup? I just found it weird the way he touched the back of panda. What? Oh uh, no! Oh my god, okay, he's good. He's good. He's good. He hit at the right place. What? <laughs> I'm. Oh. I know how to block what? Okay, I'm shocked. I. Oh, holy moly! 
I'm shocked. I am shocked. Did I say I was shocked? Oh my god, he can't hide his core. But I've got the feeling that's not it. That's not that, that's not the end, right? Yeah, it said that he was treating him just like a puppet. <laughs> oh. oh, Panda. Oh, Panda. Mm, Panda is so gold. Oh, not gonna lie, it must be so hard for him. Well, well, he's a panda, so <laughs> that's exactly it. Yo. <laughs> oh, I think that was the best matchup ever. Oh my god, no! Okay friends, so that was it for today's episode of Jujutsu Kaisen and I know I will say it every flipping time. I'm never seeing the flipping ending every time. Honestly, it never happened to me so much before with any animes except Jujutsu Kaisen. I can't see the ending coming the episode is so good that every time i'm like yo it's already done it's already done uh yeah well oh my god this episode was so amazing and the reason why is that obviously in the beginning we saw uh you know kind of a little bit of the fighting and the training and the mindset of to do and uh yuji which were amazing because right now the two of them will just be working together to make things right and to make Yuji stronger and Yuji now has a goal to obviously kill, beat, whatever, Mahito and by the way Tudu told him that he couldn't reach him with the level of power that he has right now and how he's using it. Right now Yuji has an incredible motivation to train harder to kill or you know take care of Mahito or at least be one of them that take care of him. Maybe I think Gojo will help at some point I think or Nanami but with what happened to Nanami last time he was so close to die it made me I was scared I was scared okay I, I don't know why I thought Nanami would be maybe not as much as powerful as Gojo but still I thought it would be like way more hopey, hopey than that I'm not taking him anything. He is strong as hell, but with what happened last time, it scared me. Uh, yeah, and Panda. Panda, Panda, Panda. Obviously, best matchup ever, and I was surprised. I don't know why. I thought, at least at first, you, you saw my reaction. I thought that Mecha was like part robots and part humans, like we saw in the vision but it wasn't a vision really it was just the real person that is controlling mecha so to see how he is right now the fact that he's missing an arm and just the lower body of himself and just how much he is so sensible to go to the sunlight I know that during the fight we were like, yeah, yeah, let's go Panda, let's go make it, blah, blah, blah. but when I think back about it, I'm just like, it is so sad for him. He's just alone all the time. Yeah, Mecha is the puppet that he's tr controlling right now, but in terms of real life, he never really saw anyone, never. He's just always been on his own where he is hiding right now, but his power are amazing. How much he can control his puppet so well and from a huge distance, that is amazing. But now let's talk about Panda. What the heck, he's got three cores. And we saw his brother cores 
which uh, was obviously the gorilla state kind of and I'm not gonna lie at first I wasn't really seeing the the gorilla like in the first second but obviously the more it was fighting the more it was obvious that he was kind of shaped like a gorilla even so he was looking like a panda um, but with everything that we know right now I am loving panda way more than I was loving him before and I just can't wait to see his sister core <laughs> must be amazing uh, but yeah three core wow I am still really shocked about that new and panda and we're I'm not gonna lie the fact that he could hide his core I, I was sure he was done for in the end but he wasn't oh wow panda is always impressing me and I think my theory is that he wanted his phone at the end maybe it was obviously i will go with an easy theory it was to give him his phone number if he wants to call if he wants to talk at some point or things like that you know friendly thing um i think it's for that uh, that's what i think uh so yeah and i can't wait obviously to see for mecca um like to see him with everyone else and if he can at least at some point i really hope he can find a way to just join everyone and find another way of fighting well at least just so he can be with everyone else and obviously he can continue to control Mecha because it's his jujutsu uh, technique you know so yeah yeah I will go with that I will go with that so thank you guys so much for watching I really hope you enjoyed and we will see each other in my next video bye bye